the royal family should pay reparations to former colonies of the British Empire financially, politically and socially, claim Novara Media's Delia G. Ms. Dubriel discussed the royal family's role during the colonization period, and how she believes it has shaped the inequality struggles many of the descendants still face. Ms. Dubriel argued for the institution to pay reparations to the former colonies as well as to the families of indigenous Canadians for the treatment they Prince Charles and Camilla. The Duchess of Cornwall are on a three-day tour of Canada despite heated protests from locals on previous visit. Ms. Debriel told BBC Politics Live, Well I think it's very bizarre for us to be sitting in a studio in London, telling the descendants of people who were colonized, how to respond to people who are representatives of the institutions that colonize. I think what we are experiencing globally is an emergence from not an age of innocence but an age of where the role of colonialism in shaping the inequalities that we currently still that has been systematically erased from public knowledge, and thanks to the interventions of the descendants of the people who have been colonized, that age of ignorance is no longer tenable and so I think it is absolutely a given that the royal family should apologize. But that is just one symbolic. The first symbolic step in a broader reckoning of how we can right the wrongs of the past BBC host Joe Coburn asked, including reparations? Ms. Gibril said, absolutely. Politically, socially and financially. Dot proud to support Ukrainians. Dot find out how we're helping royal family should apologize over indigenous Canadians treatment as Charles. The royal family should pay reparations to former colonies of the British Empire financially, politically and socially. Claim Novara Media's Delia G. by Eben Hargrave. 16 11, Wednesday, May 18, 2022, updated, 16 11, Wednesday, May 18, 2022. 28 Comment section Share on Facebook, share on Twitter, share on LinkedIn, share on Pinterest. Copy link Royals should apologize for indigenous treatment, says Gbriel. Sign up for free now and never miss the top royal store. Enter your email address here. Subscribe we use your sign up to provide content in ways you have consented to and to improve our understanding. This may include adverts from us and third parties based on our understanding. You can unsubscribe at in more info. Ms. G. Braille discussed the royal family's role during the colonization period and how she believes it has shaped the inequality struggles many of the descendants still face. Ms. Dubriel argued for the institution to pay reparations to the former colonies as well as to the families of indigenous Canadians for the treatment they Prince Charles and Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall are on a three-day tour of Canada despite heated protests from locals on previous visit. Related articles Royal Family Major first as Queen Hans William Huge New Role. Netflix continued to wield acts after scrapping Meghan Markle's pro. Ms. Gibriel told BBC Politics Live, Well, I think it's very bizarre for us to be sitting in a studio in London, telling the descendants of people who were colonized, how to respond to people who are representatives of the institutions that colonize. I think what we are experiencing globally is an emergence from not an age of innocence but an age of where the role of colonialism in shaping the inequalities that we currently still that has been systematically erased from public knowledge, and thanks to the interventions of the descendants of the people who have been colonized. Just in, Met Office weather warning, blood rain set to strike as thunderstorm alert. Delia Gibriel. Delia Gibriel, image. BBC Politics Live. Prince of Wales and Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall. Prince of Wales and Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall. Image, Getty Images. That age of ignorance is no longer tenable and so I think it is absolutely a given that the royal family should apologize. But that is just one symbolic. The first symbolic step in a broader reckoning of how we can right the wrongs of the past. BBC host Joe Coburn asked, including reparations? Ms. Gibriel said, Absolutely. Politically, socially and financially. Read the latest updates on Express. C.O. UK's royal family live blog Prince Charles, Meller discusses problems with me. The ex-colonized countries of the British Empire have been pushing back on royal visits as some residents do not see the need for them. Protests have been held in the Caribbean this year by locals who have demanded that the royal family pay reparations for slave. The Duke of Cornwall's visit marks his 19th trip to the country, this is his first time back since 1970. They have received a warm welcome so far, despite pressure for an apology for the royal family's cologne. Royal law author Omid Scoby wrote in an op-ed for Yahoo! News about the possibility of backlash from local indigenous Canadians. Ms. Scoby said, later this month, 
Prince Charles will acknowledge the abuse of thousands of indigenous children by Canada's now dismantled residential school system during a tour with Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall. It's an important moment that will include time with indigenous leaders and community members in the spirit of reconciliation. As one of the only family members aside from the Queen to truly master the art of diplomacy, I can see why Charles has been tasked with such a sensitive trip.